Hi everybody, Gerdy here. When fear stops you from moving beyond the edges of your comfort zone. So I've been talking about rule breaking the last couple of days. You can uh, go back and listen to what I talked about in relation to that. I'm not going to repeat it, but part of the message is when you are ready to change things about the way you live your life, the way, the way you work, the way you do things, whatever it is, it is almost inescapable you will very likely you will have to break some rules self-imposed rules rules perhaps that um, have been handed down to you as you were growing up maybe rules implicit explicit from your workplace from society from the friends that you hang out with there's all kinds of rules and all kinds of places and what you will find is that you've been that you've created and been living in this comfort zone this comfort bubble largely being unaware of the many rules that you follow and now that you've come up against the edges of your comfort zone where you feel somewhere in your body this is uncomfortable it may even be scary and uh, I'm sure you know oh, excuse me um, where that is for you for me for example when it gets really uncomfortable fear sets in and it settles in my stomach as a big knot or a big lump around just in that navel area somewhere between my solar plexus and um, my sacral chakra and when that happens for me I know that what I have to do is actually step over that boundary step out of my comfort zone or as somebody just earlier today said just leap It happened to me yesterday actually, I've been bumping up against the edges of my comfort zone for a, oh, a couple of weeks now and yesterday that culminated in an, a tremendous lump of fear around a decision that I had to make and as I said as I said Uh, when that happens to me I know that what I am about to do what I'm asked to do is something that I have to do because the, the more afraid I am the more important it is that I do what I what I'm afraid of doing so yesterday I leapt and I knew immediately that I had made the right decision that I had leapt and landed in the right place because for me and I'm sure this is the case for many others I know it is the case for clients of mine when I leap and then land somewhere and if calm settles over me there's no panic anymore, there's no fear anymore. I know I have done the right thing. I know I have leapt and landed in exactly the right place. That doesn't mean that it is any e is really easy all of a sudden. Usually it isn't. But the fear is gone. So now there's a new challenge, usually. But the fear at least is gone and that 
enables me to think clearly again and to act and to move in the direction I want to go, I need to go. So where, how do you know that you are bumping up against the edges of your comfort zone? What is going on in your head? What stories are you telling yourself about all the things that can go wrong when you leap? Where does it's where does that discomfort sit in your body? Can you are you aware of where it sits? Do you know what it feels like when you when you are bumping up against the edge of your comfort zone and something in you keeps telling you you have to leap? I'm not saying that you're always that you're always going to land in the right place. I certainly don't. Sometimes I leap and that calm doesn't settle and it doesn't it doesn't come not right after the decision and the, and certainly not any time longer after that. When that happens I know it is um, time to make a different, a, another decision. Leaping back into your own comfort zone, the comfort zone you just left, that's pretty much impossible because the moment you left, you changed and your comfort zone changed as well. You can, however, um, how, how do I say this? You can, however, get back to close to that edge I guess because you've learned something so your comfort zone has changed a little bit you learned that what you just did was not the right decision for you and you went back um, or not necessarily back but you then made another decision that um, reversed in as much as possible the first one so there's two things that can happen when you decide to step across that boundary of your comfort zone, the edge of your comfort zone. Either you will find yourself in exactly the right place and your body will tell you this, or that not in your stomach, wherever it sits with you, for you, in you, has not disappeared and has maybe even grown bigger. Listen to your body, learn to distinguish what it is telling you, it will help you. But do not necessarily let fear stop you. And, and don't throw common sense out of the window. So that's it. As always, go there greatly. Bye-bye.